Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video, I'm going to check the ISDT slash YOYV PD60, a compact and budget-friendly 60W battery charger that will enable you to charge up to 4S LiPo, LHV and LFE batteries and up to 12S and AMH slash CD batteries using a USB Type-C fast charger. In terms of packaging, the PD60 charger comes inside a small box and inside you can only find the charger with no extra accessories. In addition, the specs of the charger and the operating instructions are written on the back of the package and as you can probably tell by the user interface, the operating instructions are pretty simple. Powering up the PD60 charger is done using a USB Type-C port. You can use Quick Charge and USB PD 2.0 and 3.0 chargers and the supported input voltage is between 5 to 20 volts and the maximum supported input current is 3 amperes. On the other side of the charger, you can find an XT60 battery connector and a 4S balance port. And operating the charger is done using these two buttons on the front of the charger, so short pressing the right one is going to either start or stop the charging procedure, short pressing the left one is going to switch between the different current options, and long pressing it is going to switch between the different battery types. In addition, inside the charger you can find a pretty big heatsink, and on the top, right and left sides you can find ventilation holes in order to keep it cool. As you can see the PD60 is a small charger. Its dimensions are 84.5 by 55.2 by 19.5 mm and it weighs 80 grams. Now using the power bank, let's power up the charger. As you can see everything lights up and we can hear the familiar ISDT startup tone. Now we can switch between the different battery types by long pressing this button. By short pressing it, we can set the charging current to either 1, 2, 3 or 6 amperes and you can start charging the connected battery by short pressing the right button. As you can see, now the error indication is highlighted since I attempted to start charging a battery when a battery is not connected. When a battery is connected however, and pay attention that if you are going to charge LiPo, LHV or LFE batteries, you must plug their balance connector, after pressing the start button, this indicator is going to light up these indicators are going to indicate the progress of your charging and once the charging procedure is complete, this indicator is going to light up. Now before running some tests, I would like you to note that when powering up the charger, you must use a power source that supports quick charge as otherwise the charging procedure is going to be extremely slow or is just going to fail. First, let's test this very common Samsung travel adapter and as you can see, it can't handle charging a 4S battery even at 1A. Now let's try a 3S battery, and as you can see it can handle a 3S battery at 1A, but it fails when switching to 2A. Now let's test my MacBook Pro charger, and you're probably not going to be surprised that it can charge 4S batteries at 6A. So as I just mentioned, make sure to use a proper power source. I also recommend to make this type of adapter, which will enable you to power up the charger using batteries with an XT60 connector. It is pretty simple and all you have to do is to cut a USB Type-C cable and solder the ground and VCC wires to an XT60 male connector. Now using this adapter, you'll be able to use the PD60 as a field charger, which can be quite handy. You should note that when charging the battery, you won't be able to change its type, however you will be able to change the current, but the change is not going to take effect until you are going to stop the charging procedure and start it again. In addition, for the first 80%, the battery is going to be charged using the XT60 connector using your selected current, and for the last 20%, the battery is going to be charged using the balance connector at 0.5 amperes. So overall, priced at $15 and backed by SDT, which is a company which is known for manufacturing high quality battery chargers, I think that you should definitely consider getting the PD60, put it in your backpack, and it might save you when you are in desperate need to charge your batteries. Before wrapping up this video, I would like to remind you that you should never charge your batteries unattended because things can go extremely wrong and you should also make sure that this charger gets enough ventilation because it can get pretty hot. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.